Hi, um, this is Mr. Roche. I'm here at the computer lab, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys something about a, a program called Robot Builder, which we're going to use to build um, the large robot um, programs. Okay, initially you can do it by making a design, and it'll it'll kind of like create some Java um, programming for you. So this is it. It should be on your desktop, and what happens is it opens up a kind of a a view like this and what we're going to do is we're going to make a new robot okay and you're going to call it something like you know um, first drive train okay um, and you guys are all each going to have a team number okay and they have four numbers you kind of need these four numbers to do this and the software all has to match this so I'm going to be 111 right now okay so what happens is um, you end up like this. You can call this whatever you want. Um, it's got an autonomous component to it. It's for my team number 111. This is because it's it, they run these things at first, and so the, the team names have to match up and stuff. And that's fine. But what importantly what you get is you get this kind of view of the um, of the components of the robot. And what you do is you kind of outline your subsystems, um, and you outline your interface, and you outline a command, and you put this all together. And it'll it'll make some code for you to do this, but it's it basically works on a command-based architecture. So the commands interface with um, both the um, the operator interface, which is like the joysticks, and um, the parts of the robot. And this is how you kind of make your robot work. So what we're going to do is I'm going to um, left click on this, or right click on this, and I'm going to add a subsystem. Okay. Subsystem I'm going to add is that sort of thing. That's the thing we've been building all along, okay? Uh, right now, I've got nothing else to add to it. But I'm going to use that, and it's going to work out great, okay? My operator interface is a joystick, and we're going to use a kind of an Xbox controller. Um, so I'm going to say Logitech. I'm going to make this Xbox controller. Okay, you can call it anything you want. You can also have multiple ones. I'm going to leave this set at zero, so that it, um, you know, um, so it, it, the first one is going to be this one. Okay. And if you had two kids operating it, you could have two Logitech controllers. But right now we just have one. Okay. That's really all we need. Okay. I'm going to add one more command. Okay. Right clicking again. I'm going to add a command, and I'm going to call this one. This is the basic command drive with joystick. We're going to be able to drive with the with the joysticks and this is how we do it um, and I this is a command that requires the drivetrain so the commands are hooked up to the subsystems so when you give a subsystem it kind of takes over the the, um, the, the, um, the subsystem so the command will take over the subsystem so when I push the joystick I need the drivetrain so I'm asking for it that's good um, there's a thing where I can add a button for it on the smart dashboard in this case it doesn't really matter let's leave that checked um, but there it is, okay? So this is like the basic subsystem, okay? I can save this. It'll make a, um, a yet another markup file. Uh, that's what YAML means, something like that, yet another like, like um, markup language. Um, and I'm gonna call it, um, you know, I'm gonna call it my team name. I'm gonna call it like uh, Mr. Roche Drive. Okay, I'm gonna save it, and I'll save it in documents, okay? Um, right now, just to keep it off the off the desktop, and there it is. Okay, so I get that, and that's pretty good. Now, what I need to do is my drivetrain is made of motor controllers and motors and stuff like that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add a couple of controllers. One of the things you can do is add a robot drive, which will handle the like the the the, um, the motors really well. So we're going to do that. PID is something that we're going to get into too, but, but right now we're going to use motor, straight robot drive. If you had four motors, you'd use this. If you had two motors, you're going to use this. And we're going to go with this. Okay, so robot drive. So we're going to pick this. Okay, there it is. So what it wants to know is my left motor or my right motor. And it wants to know whether the motor should be inverted. Uh, right now we haven't decided that. Um, and so things are like, like there's errors because we have to clean up some stuff. Okay. Another thing we're going to have to do is add our can talons. That's good. See our talons? We're going to add one. Okay. We're going to add a second one. Okay. So each one has an ID to the can. So you might call this like can talon one, like right. Okay. And you might have to change this. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to give it an ID, which is the computer's going to really want to know about it. It's going to be um, one. And we're going to go and tell him to, let's say, like left, so we can keep him straight in our head. And this might be ID number two. You can give him any IDs you want, but they have to have one, okay? And going up here, um, what we're going to do is uh, we have to kind of pick. So the left motor should be left, right? And the right motor should be right. And so now that that's straightened out, and there's a one count talon for each, everything should be fine, okay? And that's basically all we need to do. It's pretty easy, okay? So you lay out your pieces of your, of what you're using. We're, we haven't included like the cameras and stuff like that. We don't care about that right now. But what we're gonna do is just get basic, basic driving command. And this is one way to do it. And we're gonna do it with Robot Builder. So go like that, we do a save. Okay, there's some programming stuff to do, but we haven't programmed any Java yet. And here, all of a sudden, we're going to have a awesome program. Okay, and that's, that's the first step of this. So do that, and I'll talk to you later.